Hello everyone and thanks for watching THV 11 news at noon this Thursday. I'm Amanda Yeager new today. The Little Rock Police Department is vandalized overnight with messages to defund the police. THV 11's Michael Aaron is there now and Michael, the chief of police responded to the destruction of this property earlier this morning. What did he have to say? Well, Amanda, he was very emotional today. You can still see some of the spray paint here on the fallen police officers monument outside the Little Rock Police Department headquarters. A group of people were out here this morning trying to clean that up. That included a granite company, members of the Fraternal Order of Police. And they were also out trying to clean up the sidewalk here where some of those messages were sprayed, including the name of Brianna Taylor. Uh, you can see those unknown vandals spray painted to fund the police on the memorial. That same message spray painted on a police vehicle and as I mentioned Brianna Taylor's name also spray painted on the sidewalk right outside of police headquarters. The municipal court building next door was also hit along with the prosecuting attorney's office downtown. This all happened early this morning sometime after midnight according to police chief Keith Humphrey. Officers discovered the vandalism at around 3 a.m. The suspect or suspects have not been arrested uh, but the chief tells us that there are surveillance cameras at each of the locations that they hit and he says not only is this a felony but it's being investigated under the city's new hate crimes ordinance. I can tell you right now the men and women of the Little Rock Police Department are devastated. They're hurt. Can you just imagine getting up this morning, coming to work in a very good mood and you come and you see this right in front of the police building? This is this is ridiculous. This is this is going to be I have zero tolerance for this. Why not try to build the bridge the gap? Why not sit down and talk about how we can make things better? The vandalism goes beyond Little Rock just across the river. North Little Rock police say one of their patrol cars was set on fire around 320 this morning. Officers also found that the tires on several other patrol cars had been slashed and they were flat. Four vehicles and all are damaged and the department says extra security measures are in place. We are hearing from Mayor Frank Scott Jr. this afternoon here in Little Rock. He says that this is unacceptable and the Little Rock Fraternal Order of Police calls the defacing of this monument in particular, a despicable act. We'll have much more on the cleanup and the reaction from city leaders coming up tonight at five and six. For now, they're reporting live in Little Rock. I'm Michael Aaron. Amanda, back to you.